Hello and welcome back. This is part two of the sacred geometry and the Metatron cube. Hello, gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and you are at the DIY Affiliate and Collective Soul Journey platform where I talk about the twin flame journey, energies, frequencies, and vibrations and how they affect our daily life. This is part two of the sacred geometry and the Metatron cube. If you have not watched part one and you want to find out what sacred geometry is, then click on the video that will appear on your top right. I went over this in video one, but here is a recap of the Metatron cube. This representation of unity, harmony, and the divine blueprint can help to deepen our understanding of the spiritual and energetic dynamics at play in this profound connection. The first step is to learn sacred geometry, which is symbolism and meanings. This knowledge will lead to you and your soulmates or twin spiritual growth and also a higher level of self-awareness. Recognizing sacred symbols such as the flower of life, Metatron's cube, and the star tetrahedron are all representative of unity, love, interconnectedness, and spiritual awakening. How do I use the Metatron's cube to help me on my own soul journey? So now you may be wondering what to do with this knowledge of the Metatron's cube in your daily life to help and guide you towards union or reunion as you go through all of the stages of the Twin Flame journey. If you are not familiar with the Twin Flame journey, you just look to your top right and you will find a video that will answer most of your questions and give you the knowledge that you need as you progress physically and spiritually together. The very first thing is to learn how to draw your own Metatron cube. As you are creating the cube, focus on all of its patterns. You can also make a three-dimensional Metatron cube or purchase one that you can use for meditation. Meditation is the best way to use the Metatron cube. Reflect on the symbolism of Metatron's cube, which represents unity, harmony, and the interconnectedness of all things. It is a guided meditation on how to use the Metatron's cube in a meditation. The meditation will include understanding the cube symbolism repre represents the divine blueprint or plan for your twin flame journey. Using the cube as a source of motivation and inspiration for self-reflection to gain a deeper insight into yourself and your connection with your twin or soulmate. Step 1. Go to your sacred Place where you find peace and solace to allow you to release any tensions or pressures of your daily life. Step two, cleanse yourself and your space with sage or palo santo or crystals. You can even use lemon and salt if you have it. Step three, Place your cube in what I call the point of creation or your sacred space to create a harmonious and uplifting space of your own where you can go to meditate and manifest what you desire into your life. Step four, try to get comfortable sitting with your back straight to align all of the chakras in a row, either in the lotus position or sitting on a straight back chair. Step 5. Begin by grounding yourself. Imagine your roots extending deep into the earth, connecting you to the planet's energy. Feel your aura growing downwards towards the center of the earth and upwards towards the sky as you expand your mind, getting yourself ready for the meditation. Step Tune six. into the right frequency. Download the app of 
Sophocell healing tones and frequencies, and then choose 639 hertz to, to open up the heart chakra. Choose the pranayana breathing on the healing app, and this, that is the lungs icon. Bring your attention to your breath. Inhale deeply, feeling your lungs with Step breath breath. air. Exhale slowly, releasing any tension or stress. Do this about five times or as many times until you feel the pressures and stress of your everyday life leaving you and you are in a relaxed state. Step eight. Now use the Metatron's cube as a focal point. Place the cube in front of you to focus on its intricate patterns that will include all the platonic solids mentioned above. The colors associated with Metatron's cube are gold, purple, green, and white. Step nine. Imagine the cube clearing away negative energy and filling the space with positive vibrations with healing and transformation energies all around you as you let go of all worries and stresses. And you can choose the color of gold, purple, green, or white. Step 10. Use Metatron's cube to balance and harmonize your chakras, which can be especially beneficial for twin flames as your energies are deeply interconnected. Go through each chakra, starting with the root chakra. Then the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. Focus on each one for healing and activating and balancing. Step 11. Visualize yourself surrounded by the cube feeling its energy all around you and allowing it to balance and harmonize your being. Allow your imagination to put you inside of the cube itself with your favorite color, whether it be purple, gold, white, or green, or a combination of three or four of the colors together. Imagine yourself surrounded by the cube and a mist of its colors, basking in its color, and I choose the color gold. So basking in its golden light, feel the energy of the cube flowing through your body, balancing and harmonizing your chakras. Imagine the cube clearing away any energetic blockages or imbalances that may be hindering your twin flame or soulmate connection. Step, Step 12. Now set your intentions that are related to the twin flame or soulmate journey connection, such as unconditional love, unity, harmony, healing, and spiritual growth. Visualize your intention being fulfilled surrounded by the energy and colors of the Metatron cube. Now you are inside of the cube. The cube is surrounding you. You want to stay inside of the cube for as long as it takes you to visualize your intentions or affirmations being fulfilled. Embody a grateful mind and grateful heart and the soul connection of healing and transformation. Step 13. Express gratitude for the experience and also for your soulmate or your twin flame connection. Being grateful 
it will raise your vibrational frequency to match what you are setting the intention for your spiritual growth and healing and manifesting what you desire into your life stay inside of the cube for as long as you you need step 13 when you are ready to leave the cube take a few deep breaths and gradually bring your awareness back to your surroundings it is important to bring yourself out of a deep meditation slowly to remember the knowledge that you have gained while being inside of the cube step 14 spend evenings reflecting on your experiences and the insights you gained you may want to take out your journal and write down what resonated with you the most during the time inside the cube step Be before you begin writing in your journal use your throat chakra and say your intentions and affirmations out loud then write them in your journal the best way to use metatron's cube is to experiment and find what works best for you to trust your intuition and allow the symbol to guide you on your soulmate or twin flame journey the most important thing is to approach this guided meditation with an open mind and a heart filled with love and compassion thank you for being part of my journey and i look forward to any comments that you may have something that you may say may help another person who is on this awakening journey as well take care and see you in the next video